going to be a quick walkthrough of adding items and collections to Omika. And I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. And we're going to do another video after this on exhibits. So this is the login page. Uh, again, you just have to go to cdigs.uwindsor.ca, musicwindsoressex slash admin, and then log in with your username and password. So if you recall, uh, one of the main things I wanted to uh, talk about when I was in class was how to add items and collections to the site. Uh, collections, we're going to start there. Uh, think of these as just the basic buckets that you're going to throw related items in. So I've made a collection here called Rock Music Downtown, and I have three items in it. If you want to add your own collection, you just click Add Collection, and this is going to be uh, something based on the theme for your project that you're working on. So whatever that might be. You can fill in as much information as you like about it, and then click Add Collection and that will create a new collection for you. You notice there's also checkboxes here. Public means that uh, someone who visits the site will then be able to see your collection. If you leave that unchecked, it's going to be private. Uh, and you may want to do that while you're still developing the site and working on your project. Featured means it's going to be added to the home page, and so we'll leave that unchecked as well for now. So once I have a collection, then, and when I get to the stage of adding items to the site, I can assign those items to that collection. So you can see again, this collection has three items in it. If I click on it, I can see what those three items are, and uh, I can continue to add more items to this if I want to. So how do I do that? So now I'm going to click on the items link here on the side, and you can see the different items that exist. There's a couple images, and there's also a sound file. So if I want to add an item, it's just as simple as clicking Add Item. And then I want to fill out, again, as much information as I can about this item that you, uh, that you have. So if it's a sound file, if it's an image, whatever it might be. And of course the reason for this is that you are trying to provide information to users who are going to visit the site about what they're looking at, and you don't want to leave them guessing. Uh, you want to be as clear about what this object is as possible so that it is usable for few people uh, in the future. So fill out as much of this information as you can. Uh, again, you might not have all of it, but uh, do the best that you are able to. Now, the next step is to say, well, what type of item is this? Is it an image? Is it a sound file? Uh, the next thing after that is to actually upload the file, whatever type it is. So you can just choose that from your hard drive or wherever the file is sitting. Um, you can uncheck these. We don't need to add them to SoundCloud right now. Um, but you can also add multiple files. So imagine um, you have several pictures of a band from a show that was on a particular night. Uh, you may want to upload all of those files potentially uh, to this one item. So you can continue to add other files, as many as you need, uh, depending on the number of files that are associated with this item that you're adding. Uh, so tags, this is uh, something that you'll want to use to help people search for content uh, of various related types on the site. So if there's something on guitar music, uh, so, or if guitar features prominently in several different bands that you're looking at. If you add the tag guitar, then of course people will be able to pull together all the different things that are tagged with that, uh, with that particular tag if they search for it. Okay, so once you've done that, again, you'll notice there's the public and featured. You can leave those unchecked until you're ready for them to be live. And now you can see there's also a collection option. So I can say, I want to have this new item appear in this specific collection. So of course, what you're doing is if your group is working on a theme like uh, recording studios in Windsor, you're going to make a collection called recording studios in Windsor. And any items that are related to that are going to be added to that collection. So. After you've done that, you hit Add Item, and that's pretty much it. So again, if I go back and look at my item types here, and I'll look at this uh, existing collection, I've got a few different things. One, I have a sound file, and if I view the public page, I can see that there is now uh, a player that is associated with it. And uh, there's also, if I click on this one, I can go see the public image that's associated with this item, and likewise here. So that's what your items sort of are going to uh, look like. Okay, 
So that's it for now. Um, the next thing is to talk about how your items and collections can be used as the building blocks for the exhibits, which is, again, the interesting story that you're going to tell. Um, and we'll leave it at that for now.